Good morning to you wherever you're watching around the world and welcome to another big day in European cricket. It is day five here in Corfu, Greece and the final day of round robin matches. It's the last opportunity for these five teams to get the points they need to get them through to the next stages and the next stage is the finals day tomorrow. And we're going to have five T10 matches today starting with match 16. It's the Calathea Sixers Athens versus Forge. And I can tell you the news from the toss is that the Sixers there, Captain Vyas Pringas has won the toss and elected to bat first. So we're almost ready. Live cricket once again. Always looking forward to it. Here we go. Amadzai on strike. Nizar out there with him facing Askar. Well, there's an edge. Very first ball picked up from the keeper and he misses a run out. Well, he would have been run out first ball and that would have been all she wrote. That would have been a diamond duck. Imagine that to start your day. He gets that straight, but that doesn't help at all because it's whacked. And... Yep, four runs over the rope. Oh, he's hit that miles. Oh, my word. Will he get up? No, it won't. Oh, no. He's picked out the one man there. And he tells the crowd as well, look at me, look at me. And uh, just a little point to the crowd to say, what a catch. And that is the first wicket of day five. He hit it miles in the air. He got it so high, but he just didn't get the distance. And, uh, well, you couldn't have picked out the fielder any better and uh, a really simple catch plum absolutely plum and he's given him there's the wicket and uh well he got that one nice and straight and uh that was plum and all she wrote so good bowling and uh, as you can see he's just getting that away swing but this time he got it straighter a lot straighter and that is i think that might be the plumest lbw i've ever seen oh there we go Vinny. There we go. Niazi explodes. Is that going for four? Please go for four. It does. That's the fastest side of the ground. So it does get four. And yeah, this one, just an er error in length from Loggery. He generally tries to bowl full and straight at the stumps. This one was full. Yeah, well said. That's so pulled hard. And that is an unbelievably good shot. It's six. And well, it's hit his teammate out there. I don't think he saw where the ball was coming. Oh, the wow. I hope he's okay. I'm not too sure, did it hit him in the shin? He's pulled it, and his teammate was clapping. There he goes. Leg side, and this one is going to be four. One should be more runs, and it will be. And I think it's going to be back-to-back -back boundaries. And this is why I worry about Deku Bamanzai going round the wicket, because he's, he's pitching the ball outside the leg stump. You can see the batsman. As he comes in now, and that's high in the air. This should be caught, and... Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, no. <laughs> he was so casual. He was so... I know exactly what he was thinking. He was thinking, there's no way I'm dropping this. It's Surely it's impossible I'm dropping this. I've been under these with the gloves thinking, <laughs> your fears become reality. Oh, he gets a wick at this ball, because that is plum. Absolutely plum. So he makes up for it. Um, yeah. There. Well, that makes him feel a little bit better because he dropped an absolute goober. There's no easier way to put it. And uh, he gets in the, the sort of arm ball this time, straight ahead, and look at this. Bang! Now it goes 10th over time. Yeah. Oh, he's side. That the decision to go. And I think he's going to be run out here. Well, it's a tight one. Look, they're going to go to the... I think he's just slow to take off. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, gone he's comfortably, gone. isn't he? Yep. Yeah. The only thing, 63 was the lowest score defender this week. Yeah, also the lowest score defender this year. Yeah. Steps across. Nutmegs himself. Could be another bye. Keeper throws. Well, might as well keep running, guys. Who's after this? Two buys. Oh, I'd like to see another throw. But I think he's going to be sensible and he's just going to underarm it in. So two buys to finish the innings. They're going to end up on 58 for four off their 10 overs. Look, they didn't get too many extras. That's the other thing. I mean, eight in total, including six buys, only two wides. And yeah, so I think the fact that they didn't get those freebies it means that they made the opposition the sixes work really hard for their runs. Hello, welcome back. We're here for some T10 action. And I uh, hope you didn't turn your screens off because this could be a doozy. Can they bowl them out for 50 or less and set a record? Well, it's going to take a lot of... Hard work for the Sixers Athens versus Forge. And welcome back to all our viewers around the world via YouTube. And uh, glad to have you all with us again. 
and in India via fan code. So here we go. That is pushed into the leg side, and they'll think about a single bat. It is respectfully turned down. So dot ball to start. Good start for the Sixers. I reckon he might try and line this ball up, see if he can get the first boundary for Forge here. Yeah, he cuts that really hard, and yeah, good call for myself. I had a feeling he was going to get on to this. Gets a short wide ball, cuts it for four, and that is the first boundary in the run chase. And uh, a really nice start for Forge, who cut again, and yeah, nice batting, really nice batting. And, well, it takes a little bit of an unfortunate bounce for the third man there, and that will run away for four. Well, should be a rash line maybe to win one. He's been close a couple of times. And this is a nice shot. Picked up. This is Momundi, the captain, who just turns this one away off his hip. And he gets four runs. Nice shot. But that's normally because they have to win the game in a certain amount of time. Now, this could be a chance. And it's taken. And, well, illustrating my point perfectly. And there is a really nice highlight because it was short from the eye. Probably not the best ball he's bowled. And Arslan turns it around the corner. An excellent catch taken there at 45. Nice ball coming up for the fourth. Stroked over point, and this one will be a chase. This one won't be chased down. It's a nice shot, and that is the faster part of the ground, isn't it? To the left of screen. I like this shot. He takes it top of the bounce, just strokes himself through it, and it takes it to the end of the fourth over. The score is 42 for one, and that's something that he can probably work on. This time it is on the leg stump, and he whips it away, and this is a correct shot. Once again, gets it slightly wrong. Down leg side. So what? this one I think will run all the way for four more. Who else has taken a few catches? Well, if he hits this for a boundary, give it to him. Yes. He's gone. Well, gone. that's going to make it harder. <laughs> so this is good stuff by See, so yeah, He deserves a wicket. I mean, look, he's bowled some good deliveries. Yes, he's bowled something that good. But here's Freeman. I love Freeman's celebrations, though. He stands and delivers this time. And this one's got a little bit of legs. How much does it have? It's got four runs worth, and this one will actually take us to the conclusion of the match as the runs are chased down in the sixth over. 5.3 over, so 27 balls remaining, and Aliaska is going to finish on 22 off nine with four boundaries and to go with his wicket and the run out that you mentioned. So he will be bound to the match here in number match number 16. As Forge, they don't have too many problems chasing down this target of 59. In fact, they do it in 5.2 overs, so yeah, 34 balls remaining. 